and challenging circumstances. But be that as it may, let me take this as an honor for me to present this address that we have dubbed the Hope of the Nation Address. This is a critical juncture in the history of our country. As you may know, we have had a number of uh, State of the Nation addresses. This one is not a State of the Nation address because you know the State of the Nation by virtue of your circumstances. This one is a Hope of the Nation address because we intend to imbue you with the hope that you're supposed to have as a country and as fellow countries. Allow me to indicate that in four weeks' time, we're going to be joined by multitudes around the world to celebrate Christmas. It is a landmark moment in our calendar, coming as it does in this final leg of the year. I can tell the police are trying to celebrate our speech here. They also need the hope. It is a landmark moment in the calendar of our existence, coming as it does in the final leg of the year. I must say that it is a very sad moment for the people of Zimbabwe because our social and economic conditions have taken the shine of this great moment, particularly in the context of the celebration that goes around the world. We face the bleakest and the